guys, Alan here, once again with another Premiere Pro tip, and today I'm just going to be going over the basics of the timeline, and um, for those who don't know, the timeline is this box right here, it might not necessarily be right there, but um, this is what it looks like, and um, throughout any um, Premiere Pro, whether it's CS2 to CS5 or whatever, version you're using they they're all gonna have a timeline and you need to know how to use it in order to be an effective video editor sorry about that noise right there and um... so i'm just gonna sort of explain what the timeline is um, it, the timeline is the equivalent of like a canvas for a painter let's say so a painter might use brown, black, and green paint to create a picture of a tree and likewise a video editor will use you know maybe three clips to create a short movie that you want to upload to YouTube or something like that um, so it's basically where you take the pieces of the whole in order to make it one finished product so um, there isn't a whole lot to say about the timeline but I feel like it's important to cover it nonetheless because of how important it really is so the timeline just like the name implies it's basically where it's basically just where you add in different clips like I'm doing right now in order to create um, a movie and make it as one sequence. Now within this in the timeline there's also different video layers. Now if you're familiar with like Photoshop, um this is this is just like layers in Photoshop. So video one, that'll be your bottom layer. So if I wanted something over top of video one, I could drag it into the video two slot, like you're seeing right here and um, throughout the entire timeline you'll have this gray bar that goes across and that just shows you what time you're at in your um, movie and um, let's see you can also collapse and expand these different layers so if I were to press the down arrows or the side arrows um, it collapses and expands um, yeah, if you just want to save a little space. Um, likewise, you also have multiple audio levels, just like you have different video levels. And um, I'm just going to really quickly. Okay, so another thing that I can talk about is how to um, lock different video layers or audio for that. Um, sorry, I just got a little sidetracked. <laughs> but, so, you, if you um, hold your mouse over here, it'll say toggle track lock. And what that does is it makes it so that anything that's under video one, anything um, in the video one slot you can't touch. See, as you can see, I'm trying to drag it, but it doesn't let me because I locked it so if you're the type of person who might accidentally mess something up this might be a good feature for you to use it's just like a it's just a safety thing so that accidents don't happen um oh yeah and see obviously uh one second my computers there we go um as you can see with video one locked i can still adjust video two so now Another big thing for um, the timeline is this down here. This little, um, it shows mountain ranges, I guess. And when it's all the way to the left, you're zoomed all the way out. So as you can see, if, if you look at the top, it goes from zero, zero seconds all the way up to like 11 minutes. Now if I were to zoom in, it zooms in on wherever 
on wherever your uh, your red marker is so if you want it to zoom in right here I'm just gonna place the marker there and it'll automatically zoom in to that so as you can see I'm all the way zoomed in and it's going by um, fifths of a second so that's super small if, if for some reason you're doing something that needs that much detail then uh, then yeah but usually I like to go somewhere in between right about here it's like how I'd like like to use it um let's see you can also scroll up and down your video layers um, I'm not sure why because on my desktop there's no um, gray bar between these two like this bar right there there isn't that like it's all combined so instead of having two different things that I can adjust there's just one and it's like one whole timeline instead of sort of divided into two and I sort of like that more but I'm not sure how to change it or even if I can change it for that matter um, and then obviously to go down the timeline you just use this bottom bar just scroll down. You can also use the, the um, scroll on your mouse if you have if you have that option. So yeah, that's the basics of the timeline. Um, I know for many of you it might seem like might seem very simple, but hopefully it helps someone out there who's just getting into the program. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, like subscribe if you like the video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me in the comment section or private message me. So yeah, thanks.